So story time again. I want to tell you about Mindy, not her real name. She was a patient I saw a few years ago. She was in her 40s, she was a mother of two, and had had rheumatoid arthritis for several years. Her RA was manageable, and she had been on a good routine with medication and lifestyle changes. But just as we thought we were cruising, she came to see me with something new. Mindy had been feeling off for about a month or so. She had some unexplained fatigue, and her lymph nodes were really swollen. At first, she assumed it was just part of her RA flare, but she wasn't having that much joint pain and her usual flare meds weren't really doing very much. We ran some tests, which then led to some more tests and then a consultation with a hematologist and the final diagnosis came in. She had lymphoma. It's a type of blood cancer that stems from the immune system. Mindy got swept up by her hematologist and there were a few months there where I didn't really see her that much. When she did come back to check in, she was beside herself and having a hard time grappling with what she thought was just the worst luck in the world. How could she have RA and lymphoma? I told her what I tell many patients who are facing the same situation, it's not necessarily bad luck. There is a known association between RA and lymphoma. It's not that everyone with RA will get lymphoma by no means, but rheumatoid arthritis has been associated with many different types of cancers, including lymphoma, but also lung, bladder, and head and neck cancers. Why this happens depends on the person and the type of cancer we're talking about, but in the case of lymphoma, it's theorized that chronic immune activation from RA can make it easier for cancerous cells to develop in the lymph nodes leading to lymphoma. I'm sharing the story not to scare you, but to raise awareness. If you have RA, it's essential to be aware of this increased cancer risk as catching it early can make all the difference. Mindy did fine, by the way. She got the treatment she needed and is now in remission and back to managing her RA. If you feel something isn't right, don't hesitate to bring it up and talk to your doctor. Have a great day.